Welcome to my course where I teach you to draw in bite-sized lessons. This is lesson number eight, so if you want to get to the beginning of the course, I'll leave a link up here for you and you can go and follow that. In today's lesson, I want to show you the different grips that you get when you're drawing in pencil because just holding a pencil in a standard writing grip isn't always the best and most efficient way of holding your pencil. For example, if you're standing and drawing, then trying to draw like this doesn't work simply because you've got this big bend in your in your wrist and it's very, very uncomfortable. So holding your pencil like this is a lot more efficient. And that's just one example of when you'd use a different grip to draw more efficiently. So I've got six different grips that I use. Let me show you what they are and when to use them. The first of these is the writing grip also called the tripod grip. So let me show you what that one looks like. That's when you hold your pencil in your fingers like this. It's great for detail work because you're using the fine motor skills of your fingers. And it's also good just for doing general little shading work here and there. And you generally use this when your paper is flat or at a slight angle. The overhand grip is when you hold it underneath your hand like this. So there's, you're still holding it with those three fingers. These two here are just sort of curled in. And you're holding the pencil a lot flatter to the paper like this. So this is great for doing large areas of shading because you've now got a larger surface area of the graphite itself that's touching the paper. What it's also handy for is when you're sketching upright. So when you're sketching upright with the overhand grip, then you've also, you're, you're nice and close, but it allows you to extend your arm. And now you can also do nice gestural strokes. A variation on the overhand grip is called the tip grip. And the way you do that is you just move your pencil closer up to the tip of your finger. And now what you're doing is you're putting one finger on the tip like this. And that allows you to apply pressure to the lead itself. Because if you're shading like this and you're trying to get really, really dark, you, you're bearing down really hard on the paper, then often that tip will break. So the tip grip allows you to just add an extra strengthening onto the bottom or onto the tip of your pencil. So now you can press down super hard and you know that tip is not going to break on you. So that's great. Very large shadings and large areas because you can now do big movements using your arm as opposed to just your fingers. The next grip is called the underhand and that works like this. You hold your pencil further back and you're holding it as though you're going to stab with it, like this. So that's often called the dagger grip. So this guy is for when you're sketching upright, like that. So now again, you can have a nice extended arm and you can do nice gestural strokes. Because you'll find if you're holding like this, you've got that angle that's too much. So the underhand or the dagger grip works better. So you see, your hand is underneath the pencil. That's why it's called the underhand grip. So it's not a grip that you can really do when your drawing is lying flat. If it's at a slight angle and you're standing, then the underhand grip also works quite nicely for especially construction and sketching work. The next grip is one of my favorites. It's called the extended grip. So we've chatted about doing shadings like this with the overhand grip, right? But there's a, also often a quicker way when you want to do just quick shadings and you're flipping between detail work with your normal writing grip, then what you do is you just extend your fingers like this. You see there? So you've gone from the tripod grip and you've just extended your fingers like that. So now you can quickly do some shading work. You can't work accurately. Here I can work a bit more accurately with my shadings. This is just broad shadings. If you just want to quickly block something in. 
and then instantly be able to go back over to detail work then just extending your fingers like that for the extended work works fabulous then the last grip that I've got is called the brush or the sketching grip. So here you're holding the pencil way back in your hand like this. So you can hold it overhand or you can hold it underhand. So it's very similar to the dagger, but the dagger is more in your hand so that you've got more control. The brush or the sketching grip is just for that. It's for sketching. And again, it's used for upright drawing so again you can extend your arm and, and it does allow you to do nice movements and sometimes little details as well but generally it's, it's a nice comfortable grip as opposed to this which is closer to the to the drawing paper the dagger grip gives you that little bit of extra distance as well and I find that really handy for when I'm doing live drawing because then you need as much distance as you want so that you can judge your angles and your perspective and shapes and sizes better. Okay, let's do a quick recap of the six different grips that we've got and when you'd use them. You've got the brush or the sketching grip, which you hold way back and it's great for sketching upright and nice rough sketching work. Then you go to the underhand or the dagger grip, which gets you a little bit more detail. It's great for sketching and also upright work. Then you've got the overhand grip, which is in the opposite direction. And that's nice for broad shading works, but also still no detail. And you can use this one when you're upright or when your paper's flat. If you need to press a bit harder, you use the tip grip, which is awesome for very dark shadings. If you want more detail, then you can go to the writing grip, which you'd only really use if your paper is lying flat or at a slight angle. And then if you need to do quick little shadings while you're using the writing grip, you can extend your fingers into the extended grip. Alrighty, so now you know the different types of grips that you've got. Now we're gonna go over and take a look at the different types of pencil strokes that you'll be using while drawing. So I'm going to leave a link for that over here. Don't forget, if you liked the video, like and subscribe, hit the bell notification icon and leave a message below. Let me know what you thought of the video. And I've left a link to my website on the screen and in the description for you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.